any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember month by the power that raised christ from the dead for as long as you are on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months first john chapter 3 verse 2 the a part says that beloved now are we the sons of god but it does not yet appear what we shall be it doesn't look like it now but as we keep being consistent in obeying the word of god in practicing what god has said our profiting will surely appear unto all in this message i want you to pay attention and listen very carefully as we are going to be learning from the word of god so stay tuned and be blessed this is a kingdom that operates by words this is a kingdom that is voice activated dominion in this kingdom is voice activated the power of words this is where the ministry of prayer and the ministry of prophetic declaration comes the ministry of prayer falls under this ordinance of words the ministry of prophetic declarations and decrees falls under the ordinance of words there is no true dominion in silence words have to be captured for dominion to be established hallelujah now please look up if words are that important as far as activating and establishing dominion is concerned you now see why things like prayerlessness are a disaster that if you are not prayerful you will destroy your your life and your destiny and sabotage your potentials for walking in dominion hallelujah genesis chapter 1 and verse 3 and god said words and god said let there be and there was ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4 we're looking at the fourth ordinance the bible says where the word of a king is there is power say i am royalty one more time say i am royalty that means your words should not be without power but there has to be words first before power where the word of a king is some of you as you said i'm royalty the devil said even you you better say it again say i'm royalty because when you say i'm royalty this 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 some of this the way some of us have suffered and we've been defeated by satan you know he just tempts you and say you better don't say that those who have power are saying it and you who just came to church for the first time you are also saying you are royalty yes sir if he talks to you like that tell him it is written is greater than what i'm hearing i've told you you don't have to feel like royalty to say you are royalty the baby who is born from a royal palace the baby does not even know that he or she is royalty but it does not change the fact anyway are we together mm. he has made us unto our god kings and priests i wanted to say say you are a king but if you say you are a king ladies if you say you are a queen somebody will say queen of the coast and that's why i said say royalty <laughs> You are not queen of any coast. You are royalty. Seated with Christ. Listen to me. In the realm of the spirit, there is no male declaration or female declaration. There is no male prayer or female prayer. Are we together? There is only prayer that works or prayer that does not work. Watch this. The Bible says in Job 22 and 28, we're still looking at the power of words. Thou shalt also decree a thing, the Bible declares, and it shall be established unto thee. Who is the thee? The thee who made the decree. Not just he who was watching as they were making. Thou shalt decree a thing, 
please, I want you to understand that the dynamics of dominion demands that there must be words. There must be words. That is why the assignment of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where you cannot speak. What is wrong? I know God can do it. That means close my door. Go out of there. But for someone, even with no money in your pocket, you will declare, Walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am faithful. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I In the name of Jesus Christ. Words. Write this down please. In Mark chapter 11, when you read from verse 12 to 14 and then you go to 20 to 24, just write it for reference. Mark 11, 12 to 14 and then 20 to 24. This was when Jesus came and saw a fig tree that had leaves but no fruit and he cursed it and said, no man eated of you again hallelujah and then remember from that according to mark's account he went to flog people in the temple and then he, when they returned back by the morrow they found out that the tree was withered and they said master you said this and it has happened and he began to speak to them he said if thou shalt say to this mountain be ye lifted and cast yonder into the sea and believe with thy heart that that which you have said will come to pass you shall have it is that true and then it says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. James chapter 5. The full text is from 13 to 28. But give us verse 15 just for the sake of time. James chapter 5. The Bible says the prayer of faith. Somebody say the prayer of faith. That means not every prayer is answered. When you begin to read from verse 15, verse 13, the Bible says, if any man afflicted, he said, let him pray. Most believers pray. But there are prayers that do not, they carry a lot of energy perhaps, they carry a lot of speaking perhaps, but they may never produce results. Back to 15, please. It says the prayer of faith. That is the prayer that saves. That is the prayer that raises up. And that is the prayer that brings intervention. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he had committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. The prayer of faith. You know what the prayer of faith is? The prayer of faith is word-inspired, word-based prayer. One more time. Word-inspired, word-based prayer. Not emotional prayer. Not God have come. If you keep watching me like this, I will also watch you. It's just the mercy of God you need at that point. Not answer to prayers. Because remember, God loves you so much. He gave Jesus for you. But I taught you that he is bound by his word. All of these sentiments we whip up in the place of prayer, we think because we are touched by our own sentiments, it means that God is touched. No, he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but he only responds to his word. That's what makes him a God of integrity, that not even his feelings can change his action. The father saw Jesus dying and was touched and yet did not do anything because at that point he was seen. That is what makes him a God of integrity. So if you think by just whipping up emotions, God will somehow find a way to continue to vindicate you, you may be in trouble. You need knowledge. You need faith. The prayer of faith will save the sick, will raise him up, and will bring intervention. Most believers pray, but the basis of our prayer ministry is emotions or just shouting up and down once you are not praying in tongues the next thing you should be doing is praying word-based prayers 
Father, thank you. Your word declares that I should come to you boldly. Now I have come and that in the name of Jesus. I ask this and that. The Bible declares what things soever I desire. This is what I desire. The Bible says I should not be anxious for anything. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, I reject anxiety. I bring before you these petitions. The Bible says in Philippians 4 and verse 6 that I should be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. I should let my request be made known. Father, I bring before you this issue of rent. I know that you are faithful. I obtain wisdom to know what to do. You are praying. Are we together? But there are many people, the way they pray, even you who is listening to them at the other side of the fence, you are just imagining and say, you will even start praying and say, Lord, please, just forgive this thing they are saying. Use my intercession to help them. And the danger is that when God keeps showing you mercy in ignorance, you will think it is the excellence of your approach that brought the result. So he will leave you so that maturity can step in. It's why a lot of new believers pray nonsense and still get answers. And then later God says, no, 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 no. You have to rise and strive. Remember our teaching to strive for mastery. And for that, pray properly. Are we together? That prayer, people pray in front of food. Some have food and it's wonderful. But that's just to help children. You're an adult, you approach that way, it's ingratitude. You have to settle down and understand how the Bible... Maturity. 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 If you see a child dropping five naira as offering, that's fine for his age. But if you see somebody who is working in an oil company holds five naira whether it's new or old dropping it you will look at him and say sir give this even to your governors the bible says they will not accept because to whom much is given much is expected god is challenging us tonight if you want to walk in dominion then we have to obtain grace from god are we together to be people of word-based prayer and word-based declaration let me give you the final key thank you very much for your patience the final key Tonight, if you want to walk in dominion, then you will need to encounter the anointing. There is the anointing that activates this. It's called the power of God. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. The Bible says, According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33. Very, very powerful scripture. The Bible says, And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord, and great grace was upon them all. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19. We're discussing the anointing now. Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus, and among the many things he prayed that would be revealed to them was the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe. The exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe. Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. Jesus is speaking to the disciples now who would later become apostles of the Lamb. He says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Men can be endued with power from on high. Luke chapter 1, remember? The discussion between Gabriel and Mary, verse 34, Luke 1, 34 and 35. Then Mary said unto the angel, how shall these things be, seeing I know not a man? The answer, next verse. The angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Whatever comes out by the power of God must be attributed to God. The power of God only produces that which pleases the Lord. Listen to me. It takes power to make promises manifest here and now. You can read that by his stripes I am healed. 
you can understand that confession and all these things are there but now the bible says if somebody is sick verse um james chapter 5 and verse 14 that if someone is sick he should call on the elders are we together now elder simply means those who by reason of experience with results they have obtained a ranking that is worth recognition the elders of the church and let them pray so prayer also solves the issue of sickness anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and then the bible says the prayer of faith shall heal the sick in john chapter 1 and verse 12 john chapter 1 and verse 12 but as many as received him he gave them power what do you get after you receive him power the power that makes you become the son of god acts chapter 1 and verse 8 ye shall receive power tells you after the holy ghost is come upon you ye shall receive power that means one of the many supplies of the spirit is power give us philippians 1 19 power resides absolutely within the office of the holy spirit it says for i know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ there is what the spirit supplies you cannot embrace power ignoring the ministry of the holy spirit is when you embrace the holy spirit mary's uh, angel, the angel gabriel told mary the holy ghost will come upon you first then the power of the highest will overshadow you he said you shall receive power after that the holy spirit is come upon you power is not independent of relationship with the holy spirit please keep that scripture philippians 1 19 but i know that this shall turn to my salvation that is dominion i know that whatever the issue is i can correct it i can enforce restoration but it will happen through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ ladies and gentlemen as far as walking practically in dominion is concerned these are the ordinances of heaven and he told job job one of the many reasons why you are a victim is because you do not understand the ordinances of heaven the laws that regulate the heavens and he says canst thou set up the dominion over the earth do you know the laws of the heavens do you know that heaven operates by knowledge do you know that heaven operates by understanding do you know that it takes faith that is why disobedience is not tolerated in heaven because heaven is a place that epitomizes faith in God. Every time there is rebellion in heaven, defiance, there is judgment immediately. And there was war in heaven. Heaven is a place of perfect faith because of perfect obedience. And then you must realize that dominion depends on words. The ministry of prayer, the ministry of prophetic declaration but words and finally there is an empowerment from god that comes upon individuals after all this is said that power grants you the grace it is the power that enforces compliance so if god tells you you are going to prosper you believe that word you understand the principles connected to it that becomes revelation you take steps in keeping with the truth then in the place of prayer and declarations now you're fulfilling the word component then you activate the power to prosper now you can have financial dominion is someone learning let them have dominion the ordinances of heaven you can carry this truth tonight like a student holding something that can profit him and stand before any situation and use this formula and find your way out i know you have been blessed by that powerful message and i know that your life 
it's going it's not going to be the same and i encourage you to share this message with others also and do like this message if you have not hit the like button yet subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and your life will never remain the same see you in our next video god bless you